what is going on my off duty family welcome back to another video uh it is hot today so i'm not going to enjoy cooking but i'm going to do it because that's what i enjoy doing uh, i'm making a gnocchi uh beef mince uh kind of hash type thing um something that i make on occasion it's nothing special it's just quick simple and easy to do uh so yeah we'll get right into it and i'll see you down in the kitchen see you in a bit peace salted water here and then I have some lucky cooks in two minutes it says so that's what I'm gonna do add it to it let it, let it boil for two minutes then uh, refresh it Pick up it goes So, I'm going to blanch it, boiling for two minutes, get some nice cold water on there, stop it from cooking any further, and it's really, really warm today, it's like 27 degrees, so I don't have the hood extraction on because it's too loud, and also I've got to be quiet because my wife is sleeping, she was working nights last night, so making some nice for her to eat. I want to get all the heat out very very quickly ideally i should have some ice in this just to take out the heat as fast as possible but this way works just as well right and that's it just put it on top and let it drain off Easy as that. So the next thing I'm going to do is to brown off some bacon lardons. I wasn't going to use them, but now I decided to because I'm feeling double meaty, son. Double meaty. I know, really bad joke, but I felt like saying it. Don't judge me too much, but hey, sometimes we have bad jokes. I love the smell of smoked bacon. It's one of my favourite bacon. And after that, I'm going to brown the mince, as you've seen in my previous videos. Anytime I use mince, I always brown it off first, get rid of all the scum that comes out of it, and then I season it once I'm cooking it again. bottom of this pan pretty thick should have used the wax but this is what I chose to do I hope the smell of this doesn't wake her the wife because I'll get in trouble you see all that we don't want any of that so once we're ready and I'm happy that that's blanched enough, I'm going to do what I usually do and I 
drain it. I don't know why that took me so long. And a bit of a brain freeze. If that happens in your old age, your brain stops working properly. There's a lot of rind in this. I suppose it adds to the flavour a little bit. Don't want that piece of far too deep. And that one. Just size of that. Huge, I tell you. See? Huge, I tell you. Huge. There's another one. The person who cut this up really didn't do their job very well. Not impressed. Clearly it must have been a Friday. Right, quick, pubs are open. See, look at all that. All that scum that's come out of it. Don't want any of that. Not good to go in your body. Right, so I will see you over at the sink when I'm about to drain them. There we go. See all that? That can go in the bin because I'm not going to use that. Don't want that. See all that scum that came out of it? Do not want to be eating that. And I have a nice little bowl here. I want to put that in, so I will add it in. There we go. And now to the beef mints. Right, so next up is to brown the mints. You know what mints I usually use by now. I prefer to use frozen, lasts longer. Bit of oil. Always just a tiny bit of oil. There we go. So you see how much oil I just put in that, and watch the amount of nastiness that comes out of it. And I'm just use doing this just to brown it, I'm not seasoning it yet. I want to brown it and then drain it off, then I'll season it. So you can see just how much scum is coming off that. And that's only been on a minute-ish. I'm not even going to put salt or any pepper in this at this moment in time. Look at that fat and gunk that's come out of it.
Right, now that I'm happy that that's browned it enough, because obviously I'm going to cook it further, we're going to drain it off, so I'll see you back over in the sink. Right, there we go. Now you see all that coming out of it? I only put like a teaspoon of oil in it. That's all out the meat. Yeah, that stuff you really don't want to be eating. <clears throat> Look at that. Perfect reason why I always do this when I'm using minced beef, whether it's fresh or frozen. That's that sorted. Right now I'm going to clean up and then it'll be onto the final thing. How long is that going to be? Probably going to take me 10 minutes, if that. Anyway, I will see you in a sec. Right, and now just for the plate up. Nothing too fancy. And this was shot in pretty much real time, so... The the there you go, that's it, done. Once again, thank you for making it to the end of the video. Uh, the food was amazing, it was really nice, it turned out better than I thought it was going to because it was just a, these are my ingredients and this is what I've got kind of thing uh, so yeah, that's what it is uh, so please like, share and subscribe because it really helps out my channel because uh, I'm trying to grow my channel I'm looking to get my first thousand subscribers so please help me on my journey to that <clears throat> so yeah, once again, please like, share and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video so let's stay safe, take care of yourself Stay on your grind and I'll see you next time. Peace.